Hello and welcome to Open Access Wikipedia Challenge Part 1. Uh, this first section is about open access. So we'll discuss a little bit about uh, the definitions of open access, what open access week is and why exactly we're celebrating it. And then lastly we're going to finish with an activity which is basically to judge uh, the openness of uh, different journals or one that you've read recently amongst a variety of different criteria and on the spectrum that's been recently released um, as a nice editing tool by a consortia of different open access journals and believers. Okay, so first of all, let's jump right into it. The, what I'm going to be showing you now is a um, PDF that was guide that was released um, by Spark, uh, PLOS, uh, and OASPA, uh, and it's called uh, How Open Is It? Um, and so what this guide does is, uh, is a nice introduction basically to uh, help you find out how op open different things are. So um, just the quickest uh, uh, introduction that we can have to open access is that uh, open access is a means of um, changing the costs of um, the costs of reading uh, or producing open access journals away from the reader uh, so that, that the reader can read it op um, freely uh, on the internet. And also there's a lot of different definitions of free. So open access has a lot of different complexities, but essentially it's trying to um, break the traditional subscription model of academic publishing. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of good reasons to do this, and mainly because the internet uh, and having online access has been able to spur these sorts of um, new ways and cheaper ways of, of being able to read uh, open access journals. So what is... Um, Let's let's think a bit about um, open access week. What is open access week exactly, and why are you doing? Why are you specifically in this tutorial? Well, the reason is uh, open access week is just a, a yearly uh, event to promote uh, and help people think about open access. And I think the latest uh, slogan they're going under, is, uh, going using is um, set the default to open. And so that's something that, uh, that we're trying to help you use. Uh, and the way that we're going to be doing that today is in the Open Access Wikipedia Challenge is that there is uh, a part of Wikipedia that you'll see, or in Wikimedia Commons rather, um, and there's a, uh, right now it was previously being done manually and now there's a, a robot or a bot that sort of automatically scrapes open access journals, uh, the media of the open access journals, and puts them on Wikimedia Commons, which is the uh, media repository for the different Wikipedia, Wikimedia projects, of which Wikipedia is one. Um, and so there's a lot of uh, nice, nice images, nice video, and sounds coming in there um, from these different open access journals, and the, and the bot that's scraping them uh, and harvesting those information. But they're not necessarily being used on Wikipedia. Um, and so the challenge today is going to be to start using and start placing some of those media uh, onto Wikipedia. So it's going, it'll increase the usefulness of the encyclopedia will increase. That's what, so that's what we're going to be doing in the long run. Um, so the open access really allows us to do that. So the challenge that I'm going to give today is to think about the last journal you read or handled or sort of involved in any way, and to think about the, uh, that journal on the spectrum that is presented here in the How Open Is It um, spreadsheet. I don't know. It's a, it's a matrix. Um, it's a gradient, isn't it? Um, so the subjects, the, the criteria on which we're going to judge it are, um, are the openness from here you see, whoops, closed uh, access to open access uh, along the different uh, dimensions of reader's rights, reuse rights, copyright, author posting rights, uh, automatic posting, and machine readability. So uh, the last channel that I read was um, First Monday. Um, I don't think I've read the latest issue. But um, before this, um, I was, I, before the, the issue before, um, I read some of the articles inside of it. And I looked on their um, about page to try and find some of these answers. Um, so let's go back and look on the, the spectrum uh, and see exactly which, uh, where, where, where it first money scores these things. Readers write, um, I think that it fits in the first category here. First Monday is probably a bad journal to pick on because it does quite well, but um, there are, is free readership rights immediately on public, upon publication, I believe, uh, with First Monday. Uh, in terms of reuse rights, I think that you're allowed to um, decide, as, as you submit, you're allowed to, the author is allowed to choose exactly which sort of open license they'd like to publish under. Um, so it's not necessarily guaranteed that you have generous reuse and remixing rights, um, but probably falls somewhere, well it can be can fall anywhere here um, because the because the author is a to choose. So 
Uh, and I, this is one I wasn't exactly clear about when I was looking at the uh, about section, but I think the author may hold the copyright, if, but they wouldn't really be holding it in such a large way if they're going to be holding it in the Creative Commons sense, uh, if they're going to be issued a Creative Commons sort of license. Author posting rights. Um, so I, if, if there is some sort of uh, CC license on it, then you should imagine that the author could post to another third party repository or somebody else could. Um, if, there were, if they were using the CC BY license correctly. Um, automatic posting, I believe there are a variety of other in, um, indexes in which um, the journals, um, in which First Money makes its, its journals uh, articles uh, uh, automatically available in trusted third party repositories. So I believe they're doing very well there. And uh, it should be machine readable. I'm not sure if it's necessary through an API, but you will get a lot of this data to be. Um, be able to be cruel. So they did this score quite well here. Um, so the first task um, on this challenge is to, um, if you haven't understand open access uh, further, as well as you feel that you ought to and have life questions, you can answer them. Um, and you can use uh, this website or perhaps some of these other ones here and the open, um, how open is it, that, that how open is it um, force is, is trying to push out uh, and then the other and then basically to think about the journal you most recently read and score it amongst uh, these different spectra and post that in the discussion forum.